It's week 15 of the 2024 season, and this one features Josh Jacobs. He's the NFL's ultimate red zone back and your leader in rushing touchdowns. It's the Packers and the Seahawks under the light. Thank you to Trey Mosley for the introduction. We are indeed excited to welcome you to another edition of the NFL on EA Sports. The final four weeks of the NFL regular season is upon us. Welcome to the home stretch. Welcome to the booth, Mike Tirico with Greg Olson. Partner, it's week 15. Just feels like a horse race. We're at the top of the stretch. Now it's the sprint for home. And up until this point, Mike, every team's goal is, can we be in the conversation for the playoffs in this final four-week stretch? Where here we are. And if you've done that, well, man, there is nothing more exciting than playing NFL football at the end of the regular season when you're in playoff contention. But for those who aren't, this is where you have an opportunity as a player to extend your career, get invited back to training camp next season. A lot of teams' years are made at the end of the year, and a lot of individual players' careers are made down the stretch here in these final couple weeks. He'll get across the 20, mark him down at the 23-yard line. The Seahawks come on, and that means it's Geno Smith. What a story he's been. Real turnaround here in his 12th year now in the NFL. Came out to Seattle, backed up Russell Wilson the last three years. Greg, he has been the starter, and he runs this Seattle offense now. They find themselves coming off a win last week that came right down to the end, and the best teams in the NFL, Mike, they can win close games, and they can win different style games. You're not... Oh, no, right at the start, he loses the football. And the defense has it. And as you can see with that fumble, Mike, it really just goes back to the fundamentals of how they're taught to carry the ball. And they talk about the points of pressure. And the biggest thing really, Mike, is you want the front tip of the ball, the part where your fingers cover, to always be higher than the back tip of the ball. So often you see that front tip go down, and it makes it so much easier for that defender to kind of rake it out. So you want pressure against the outside of the ball, both tips, the inside of the ball, and then keep that front point up. They'll break the huddle. Coming up now for first and ten. Let's go now. ten. Now the first carry of the game for Josh Jacobs. Good blocking to the 15. The speed on display. He's in. Josh Jacobs. Touchdown, Green Bay. And he continues to add on to his amazing total on the ground this year. That was number 25, closing in on the all-time record. Anders Carlson now for the PAT. His kick is good. And the Packers will race out to a quick 7-0 edge. Seven nothing is our score as this kick is sent into the air. Here comes D. Eskridge on the return, and he'll bring it out to the 22-yard line. That's where the offense will take the field. The Seahawks' offense and Kenneth Walker ready to take over once more. They trail here by a touchdown as this drive will start with a first down. Three tight ends in the game to start the drive. The first carry for the Spartan, Kenneth Walker. And he'll bring this to about the 25. Andrew and Cooper, the rookie, is there on the tackle. Second down and eight. Once again, it's Walker. And he'll move this forward out to the 29-yard line. Andrew and Cooper, the rookie, is there on the tackle. Here's a third down and four. From the gun, it's Gino. That's caught. It's Kenneth Walker. 
And he looks to be a bit short of the line. And that is going to bring up fourth down. The initial reaction is, how does this quarterback not throw the ball past the first down line to gain to try to extend this drive? And the reality is, because they've already decided they're going to go for it on fourth down. To return, it's Nixon. And how about that? Nice return there, picking his way up past the 35-yard line. From the 39, here's a first and 10. On the ground, it's Jacobs to start the drive. And he'll be brought down just shy of midfield. This is already a little better than the first time they had the ball, Mike. Remember, opening possession, three and out. Showing some signs of life here now. Nice pick up there by the back to pick up the first down. So they come to the line for first down and 10. The man in motion is Watson. He'll stay on the ground with Jacobs. And that's good run support on the edge. Nice tackle out wide. That'll hold him to a gain of two. Look him up on a second down and eight. Here we go. Here we go. Ready? Out of the shotgun. It's Love. He's going to go deep. Looking for Reed. And they bring him down there, but it is inside the 10. It is going to be first and goal. If you want to score points at a high level in the NFL, you have to generate explosive plays. And after that big chunk pass play, they find themselves now down there in the red zone. And this is where you have to finish drives. So the big play changes the complexion of things. It's first and goal now from just inside the 10-yard line. Here's Jacobs. And he will power his way into the end zone. Josh Jacobs. Touchdown, Packers. He's got another one. His second touchdown of the evening. Give him a second touchdown on this one. What an opening quarter, Greg. Two rushing touchdowns in the first. Well, Mike, we kind of had a feeling this might be the case. They told us all week how important it was to get this guy involved early and often. And boy, have they ever. He has made his presence felt here early in this one. Carlson able to knock through the extra point. And the Packers will extend their first quarter lead. It's now 14 to nothing. The kickoff team is out on the field, and we're back to it as the kick's away. Here's Eskridge now to return it. Across the 20, they'll mark him down before the 25-yard line. And that's where the offense will take over. Out comes the Seattle offense as they get ready for their next possession. They trail by two touchdowns, so the time is now. Got to get that rally going. It starts with first and ten. He'll get this to the veteran tight end, Noah Fant. And he's brought down after a gain of six on first down. He'll come up now for second down and four. Hey, here we go, hey. Here we go, On the ground, it's Walker. Trying to find some place to go, but nothing developing. Tackled behind the line. It's a loss of one. Well, as been the case this entire first half, it's been the defense that's really carried the load for this team. Some offensive struggles, but they've done more than their part, coming through again with another big stop for a loss. And he's going to run out of time. They get to him and bring him down. This has been a first half to forget on their offensive side of the ball. It just seems like it's been a snowball effect. Bad plays are leading to even worse plays, and... That sack being the largest setback in the game that's been full of them. Mike 
Here's Michael Dixon now. And he's on to punt for the second time in this opening quarter. This fielded inside the 35. And it'll be a good return. He's able to get it up past the 40-yard line. Josh Jacobs and the Packers offense heading back onto the field. He's had a nose to the end zone all season long, and now here in the month of December, he is the NFL's leader this season for rushing touchdowns. A fresh set of downs to work with. It is first down and 10. Come on, set. Set, huh? From the gun, it's Love. He'll let this one rip, looking for Watson. And he's in. Christian Watson, touchdown Green Bay. Touchdown number seven for him on the year. Well, that is a quick drive and the best way to finish it. The touchdown pass downfield. Greg, you rarely see a deep shot like that to start a drive. You're right, Mike. We don't see it a lot, but I wish we did. It's actually the most efficient and safest down to pass the ball. And in this case, the defense is thinking run, got a lot of defenders up in the box, and they're able to strike deep with a pass play for six. Carlson's kick is good. And the Packers looking terrific here out of the gate. Already up 21 to nothing. Both teams ready to go once more as the kick's away. Here's Eskridge now to return it. He's across the 20, taken down just shy of the 25. The Seahawks offense starting to trot out for this next possession. They are facing an uphill climb early. Begin this drive with first and 10. This drive starts on the ground with Walker. A modest gain, maybe two yards. It's second down. So we are through one on Sunday Night Football. It's the Packers on top. Greg and I back in the great Northwest in a moment play action now it's Gino oh no chance there under a heavy rush he goes down when you can bring cornerbacks on pressure man that changes everything for the defensive play caller offenses spend all week worrying about linebackers defensive linemen how are they going to protect the quarterback but when you can time up a secondary pressure like this man oftentimes there's no answer for it Work to do following the sack. It is third and long. From the shotgun, it's Smith. And that is incomplete. Jackson Smith and Jigba, the intended receiver. And it's going to bring up fourth down. As this offense continues to put anything together and score some points, they need to just take a step back. Then you say, okay, we've struggled here in the first half putting points on the scoreboard. Don't worry about chasing points. Let's chase first downs. Let's chase completions. Just start building something small. And oftentimes when you take that approach, it snowballs. And next thing you know, you find your groove. The Packers offense running back Josh Jacobs heading back on the field. And he is the NFL leading rusher here in the month of December. A strong finish in the final stretch could earn him the crown. On first and ten, here comes Jacobs. Mm -hmm. And they'll finally run him down, but not before he takes it inside the 15. I half expected to see all 11 defenders piled up on top of him at the end of this run to make sure he was finally down because a couple times on that run, it looked like he was cooked only to shake off those tackles and keep on cooking.
On the move at the 14-yard line, it's first and 10. Here we go. Once again, it's Jacobs. He'll be taken down after a gain of two. On second down, Jacobs. And he'll pick his way forward, a gain of about five. And that's going to set up third down. And his great first half on the ground continues. And this is one of those guys that when he gets in the groove, it seems like it's an eight-yard run, a 10-yard run, and all of a sudden a 15-yard chunk play, one after another. They'll come up to third and three. Ready, ready, ready. Love. That's to the end zone, but they can't connect. It's incomplete. Christian White. LaFleur disagrees with the call, and he's going to throw the challenge flag. And we'll get a moment here as they look this one over. Remember, the call on the field is what they'll stick with unless they have clear, incontrovertible visual evidence to the contrary. In other words, it's got to be the truth. So the challenge is unsuccessful, and he's going to have to be careful here because he has just one challenge for the remainder of the game. On fourth down, here's Anders Carlson for the Packers field goal try. Oh, and now look at this. It's a fake. And this is not going to be enough. He is short of the marker. And they have turned it over on down. I know, I know, Mike. It's easy to sit here and second-guess all of these decisions, but I find myself leaning towards just take the points. And if you are that committed to going for it on fourth down because you want six, then just leave your offense on the field. Here's first and ten. the ground it's Walker to start the drive and a good one here he'll be marked down up past the 25 yard line up until that run this first half it's kind of been tough sledding here for this run game they'd love to see him get going that last big pickup's going to go a long way they go three tight ends here on first and ten so keep it on the ground and keep it with Walker and he'll get forward for a couple. It's second down. He's tackled at the 29 yard line. Two yards on the pickup. It's second and eight. A uh, shotgun run now with Walker. And he'll get this ahead. Gain of about four. And it leads to third down. From the shotgun, Smith. He's going to look deep here, looking for Lockett. And the Packers are going to get the football back as we reach the two-minute warning. Love to throw it on first down. Hit as he threw it. The pass is incomplete. So after their defense gives them a gift on their last drive and gets them the ball back and on the field, they nearly return the favor following that dangerous throw of their own. And at this point, they're lucky to walk away with just an incompletion. This one. Up top for Dobbs. And they bring him down there, but it is inside the 10. It is going to be first and goal. This offense find themselves with a big lead here, but remember, it's still the first half, Mike. There's a long way to go. Defensively, they've got to buckle down. They have to find a way to put a lid on this offense, because if they don't, 
they're going to find themselves at the halftime break down by a whole lot. Well, here's the chance to cap off a great half. They have it first and goal. That's to the end zone, but it's incomplete. Trying to connect with Romeo Dobbs that time. And it'll lead to a second and goal. You have to come down with those opportunities. You're not going to get your hands on the ball very often as a defensive player. And when you do, let alone in the end zone, those are plays you just have to make. Here's another shot from the six at second and goal. They'll run the toss to Jacobs. And he's into the end zone yet again. Josh Jacobs. Touchdown, Packers. His big night continues. His third touchdown of the game. So his big first half continues. Three rushing touchdowns already. Maybe have to start looking at the record book. See if he can do it. The record in a game is six. And he missed it. Missed the extra point. No good. And the score remains the same. The kickoff team is out on the field. And we're back to it as the kick's away. This one taken at the 7. And he'll be brought down right around the 25-yard line. The Seahawks offense getting set to get back to work. They'll try to get this a bit more respectable before the break. It has not been their half to this point. Let's see what they do on this drive. First down now. He'll manage to get two, maybe three on that carry. Andrew and Cooper, the rookie, is there on the tackle. Second and seven. Working out of the gun, Smith. A whole lot of chances on that one. It was bouncing around, but it falls incomplete. You know, it's hard to speculate, Mike. We sit up here and we try to just interpret and assume what's going on in the minds of the players and the minds of the coaches, but they seem to me to be a little... And this drive is over before it can start. He's swallowed up to force fourth down. Now, following that sack, we have a player who was injured. Halftime is looming, so the athletic training staff going to get a chance to look him over during the break. On comes the punter now. As the drive went in the wrong direction, he's on to punt it away. That'll be returnable from the 35. And he'll get forward a few yards on the return. And that's where the offense will take over. The Packers offense and their running back getting ready to go back to work. And as a play caller, when you've got a guy who's running like this, you lean on him and your offensive line. He's had big opening after big opening and big numbers in this first half. Love to throw on first and ten. The pressure there got to him. He's hit as he threw it, and that pass falls incomplete. They got there in a hurry, didn't they, Mike? I mean, luckily for him, he saw that free rusher coming and at the very least was able to get that ball out to prevent the sack. He'll take a shot for Watson. And they're going to move this ball. the 25 yard line the offense is able to land a big blow there and i think what happened defensively mike is just everyone was not on the same page and when you do that at this level the good offenses they're going to make you pay for it they've got to clean up those mistakes make the offense have to earn everything they get this is why the timing of these routes is so critical if that ball is thrown a little bit later He's unable to keep his feet in bounds, but instead the quarterback is on time and accurate, and the receiver does a nice job not only securing the catch, but ensuring that both feet remain in bounds. 
man. That would have been such a nice boost for this group going into halftime. The snap was good. The hold was good. He just couldn't quite get it through the uprights. This drive starts at the 21. It's first and 10. And they'll elect not to run another play. Instead, just take a knee and take this on into the locker room. So, we're at halftime here on Sunday Night Football. As we'll send you over to Orlando, our EA Sports Halftime Report, with the coach, Jonathan All Yours. All right, Mike, thanks very much. As mentioned, this is the EA Sports Halftime Report. Time to take a look around the NFL and find out what's going on this fine Sunday. We'll begin our trip around the NFL with an interesting one right off the bat. And as you see, they were winners back on Thursday night. Brock Purdy leading the way in the victory with three touchdown passes. From there, we head east to the land to check on the Brownies at home at Cleveland Brown Stadium. And they were losers in that game as they fall to the visiting Kansas City Chiefs. Patrick Mahomes, excellent in the W as his guys get victory number 12 on the year. And finally, a good one on Monday Night Football between the Chicago Bears and the Minnesota Vikings. We just watched a solid first half from the 2022 rushing champ, Josh Jacobs. He was running with a purpose as he found the end zone three times in that first half. And that opposing defense had better come up with a scheme for slowing him down. This was an extremely one-sided first half. One team showed up, ready to go. The other's been in a daze thus far, but there's still plenty of time left for this one to tighten up significantly. Both these teams running through their final adjustments. It's time for the second half. And for the call, let's get it back out to Mike Tirico and Greg Olson. One-sided first half of action. Will we get a turnaround? Let's find out. The third quarter is underway. Now an opening past the 30. And this will wind up working out well. He's going to take it up to the 40-yard line. Good return. The Packers offense and their running back getting set for this next possession. And you have to imagine the defense is saying, how do we stop this guy? He has run rough shot through him to this point in the third quarter. They'll start on the ground with Jacobs. And he'll manage to get this ahead for a pickup of five. This just shows why you can't count on just one guy to take him down. He's a powerful enough runner. You've got to have guys coming in support when that first hit is made. It takes a team effort to stop him, especially once he gets going. Come on, set. Ready? On the handoff, this is Jacobs. And he'll be marked down at the 45-yard line. Pretty much just more of the same from what we saw with this back in the first half. And he doesn't need much. He gets a little bit of space, and then he can create the rest. It's the combination of patience, vision, and then the burst to hit the hole once he sees it. This guy's been a handful all day. And he'll get six on this one, moving it inside the 40-yard line. And the big night continues. That last run gives him yardage to put him over 100 for the game. They'll work now on second and four. Here we go. Hunt, hunt. Now give to Jacobs. He'll run right. Can't fault the effort. He got half a couple of tackles, but ultimately the defense gets him for a loss of yardage. Now, after the run, we get a stoppage for an injured player. As the athletic training staff looks at him, we'll step away for a moment. Third and long. Set hunt. Set hunt. Here's Love to throw. This one, up top for Dobbs. To the goal line and in. Romeo Dobbs. Touchdown, Green Bay. Mike, we used to have a saying that it was the responsibility of the receiver to run the route through the eyes of the quarterback. And I think this is a great example here. Two guys clearly on the same page. Quarterback expected his target to be in a certain place at a certain time. He's there. Ball's delivered accurately. 
He's able to pick up the rest with his legs, and that's a big-time connection for the touchdown. Carlson now for the extra point. He's got it. And the Packers add on to their already sizable lead. Both teams ready to go once more as the kicks away. Here's Eskridge now to return it. And he's brought down right at the 25-yard line. The Seahawks offense ready for this next possession. And look, they've been out of sorts throughout, Greg. They haven't had any answer for this pass rush all game. Yeah, and it's really showing up in the sacks and also just in their ability to prevent any yards, any completions. This has just been a dominant pass defense performance here, and everything starts with the rush. The quarterback's uncomfortable. The clock gets sped up. He's got guys in his face. It's a lot easier to play defensive back and in some of these coverage units when you know that ball's got to come. Oh, he coughs up the football. And this is taken in by the defense. You know, it's amazing, Mike, that guys still end up fumbling the ball because I can tell you from experience, the first 15 minutes of every offensive practice is ball security circuit. And that could be a combination of multiple things. How to go to the ground without getting loose to the ball, almost like the art of falling. It could be running over bags or through bags as guys take swats at the ball trying to knock it out. There are so many ways to simulate what the game is like because at the end of the day, if you want to win in the NFL, protecting the ball is the number one priority and it cannot be stressed enough. And remember now, all turnovers must be reviewed by replay. So this one is going to need a little closer look. At issue was the knee or any other body part except the hand down before the ball comes loose. And are the visuals convincing enough to overturn the call on the field? So that one overturned. They say the runner was down, and that will not be a fumble. On the bootleg, it's Smith. In trouble, and he's going to be taken down. Pretty evident that the defense is just giving no time of day to any run actions. They are playing pass all the way, and he can continue to give as many play action fakes as he wants. It hasn't affected anybody, and in this case, it results in a sack. And that is incomplete. So here in the second half, it's obvious the offense finds themselves in a tough spot, trailing by this many points. But really what makes it difficult is when you have to operate, Mike, in a comeback situation where you have to air the ball out every single play, it stresses your offensive line. It stresses your quarterback. It stresses your playmakers. It is just a really difficult way to play offensive football in the NFL. And... They've got to do it, really, for the remainder of this half. And he'll be brought down. Short return. And they'll take over there. Jordan Love, the rest of the Packer offense, ready for their next possession. And he has been a nightmare to scheme against throughout this one. This defense has been picked apart. That is borne out in those impressive numbers. He has been terrific all game long. Here's Jacobs. And they get this one across midfield to the 47-yard line. Really nice job by the interior of this offensive line. It typically just takes one guy to distort the defense to give the back enough room to operate. And that's exactly what they did here. And it led to a big game. Here's a handoff to Jacobs. And this time they are ready for him. He'll be thrown for a loss. No big game that carry. It's second down. Every team makes an emphasis on winning first down, but as a defense, when you're able to take them back for a loss, second and long, you can really become more of a pass-centric defense and really tips the scales into your favor. A second down throw for Love. That one knocked away and incomplete. 
So on a day where he's completed, give or take half of his passes, Mike, you have to imagine there's a handful of throws he'd like to have back, and I think that last one falls in that category. But the biggest thing, and most fortunately for them, they find themselves with a lead despite a bit of an up-and-down performance out of their quarterback. And he's in! Christian Watson, touchdown Packers. That's a two-touchdown game for him. Numbers seven and eight for the season. For quarterbacks, there are so many stats we use to measure a good season. This is one of them. 30 touchdowns. That was number 30 on the year. Now Carlson to add the extra point. The kick is good. And the Packers stretch things out even further. The kickoff team is out on the field. And we're back to it as the kick's away. Here's Eskridge now to return it. He'll work his way across the 25-yard line. The home team's offense and their running back set to go once more. And he's had all sorts of ball control problems in this one. Let's take you back through the moments. Nothing gets you in a coach's doghouse or next to the coach faster than fumbling the football. He's done it multiple times. Very big hole for his team to dig out of. They'll come up here first and 10. They put the tight end Brown in motion. He is met and dropped. Good defense. Loss of a couple on that play. Well, they try to get the run game started here early on this drive, Mike, and they're just going to have to do a better job up front. There's really nowhere for this ball carrier to go. You never want to lose yards on first down, but that's exactly the case here. Off the play fake. It's... Oh, they are on him in a flash, and he's lost the football. Ah, but he'll gather it back in. Well, the pressure was on there, and they do get him for the sack. Almost got a turnover out of it as well, Greg. Fortunate to keep possession. Really fortunate, Mike. That ball ended up kind of bouncing back into a spot where the quarterback was able to fall on it, but you mentioned it. That play was very close to being a complete disaster for the offense. So, backed up after the sack, and now it's third and long. The Seahawks sending out their punt team. As he'll be standing just inside the back line of the end zone. This will be returned from the other side of midfield. And it's a good return here. Able to take it across the 50. And set up the offense with a short field. Let's go. Ready. They'll run it straight ahead with Jacobs. And it'll be brought down as we tick towards the end of this third quarter. So, three quarters now in the books. And Sunday Night Football continues after this. They'll try again here. Second and ten. Down. On the ground, it's Jacobs. Jacobs, first down and more. And he's out of bounds, but they are in the red zone, out inside the 20. That one good for 26 yards. And this is how you just keep wearing down a defense. You find yourself with a pretty big lead. Now can they just lean on this run game the rest of the way and close this game out with a win? Again, he finds an opening. And he's got another one. 
Josh Jacobs. Touchdown, Green Bay. What a night he's having. That's four touchdowns in this game alone. And that rushing touchdown number 28 on the year, a remarkable number. He draws level with the Hall of Famer, LaDainian Tomlinson, for the most rushing TDs in an NFL season. Carlson able to knock through the extra point, and the Packers will add one more onto their big lead. Both teams ready to go once more as the kicks away. This taken in at the eight-yard line. He'll get this past the 20 before he's brought down shy of the 25-yard line. The home team's offense ready to take over as we check out the playoff race in the NFC. Still plenty to play for as the temperatures dip and we hit the final month, the money month of the season. Smith now to throw on first down. And this offensive line just has no answers right now. It's another sack. A big loss on the play brings up second down. Work to do now as they come up on second and long. Here's Gino. He'll get this complete to Walker. And he can't get away. They rally to the football on defense and bring him down for no gain. What can they do here? This is third and forever. Now, Gino. And that is incomplete. DK Metcalf was the intended target. And it's going to be fourth down. We had a chance to sit down with the defensive coaches the other day, and we asked them, you know, give us a few key points for today's game. And the first thing out of their mouth, Mike, what was it? It was, we got to get off the field on third down. Well, here we are in the second half, and they've done just that. Right now, this offense has no answers on third down. This offense and their running back heading back on the field. And we'll take you back through some of the highlights. Been plenty of room to run, and he has taken advantage of it. Already over 100 yards in this one. He got it early, he got it often, and the defense hasn't gotten much of him. They'll start this one with a three tight end look. They'll run with Jacobs. And nothing on that one back to the line of scrimmage, and that is it. We've seen this back have his way with this defense all game long, Mike. He's up over 100 yards for the game, but this time the defense said, we've had enough. They sold out to stop him. They hold him to no game. They get 15 on that game. Good for a Green Bay first down. And this running game has really been rolling, Mike, all game long. The holes, the run lanes, they've been there consistently. Here's another nice run as they look to put this game away. Running is Jacobs. Now they are in business inside the 15-yard line. Here's a case of an offense just piling on. You're really imposing your will on the defense. Everyone in the stadium knows you're going to run it. The defense knows it. You know it. And no matter what they do, they have no answers whatsoever. And he cannot be stopped. He is into the end zone again. Josh Jacobs. Touchdown, Packers. He is having a performance to remember. That is five touchdowns for him in this one game. A record-setting TD. It's number 29 on the year, beating the Hall of Famer LaDainian Tomlinson, who had 28 in his great season of 2006. That was the record. Now there's a new man on top. Carlson now for the extra point. 
It's up and good. And the Packers will open it up even further here in this fourth quarter. The kickoff team is out on the field. And we're back to it as the kick's away. From the six, here comes a return. And he'll be brought down past the 25. Decent field position to start this drive. The home team's offense ready to see what they can do. Things not looking good. But see if they get the turnaround going here. They'll start this drive with first down. And he's going to go down yet again. He has been under fire all game long. Perfectly timed blitz there by the linebacker. Remember, when you go empty backfield, there's no extra protection. All you have is the five offensive linemen. It could be feast or famine, but in this case, when you time it right, man. And this offensive line just has no answers right now. It's another sack. Now it looks like we have an injured Packer player on the field. That not a welcome development here late in a one-sided game. Smith from the gun on third down. Sometimes in the NFL, you have to be careful what you ask for. This offensive line, they were very clear to us this week. They wanted to take on this group. They loved the ability to be challenged. Well, they might have poked the bear a little bit too much because they've now surrendered a whopping 10 sacks in a single game. And I don't think there's been any signs of this pass rush slowing down. This will be returned from just beyond midfield. And it's a good return here, able to take it across the 50 and set up the offense with a short field. Three tight ends in the game to start the drive. Now, Jacobs. And they bring him down, but not until they get inside the 30-yard line. And he continues to rack up the yardage on the ground, and that last run puts him over 200 rushing yards in this game. He'll stay on the ground with Jacobs. Not much to speak of on that one. Maybe a gain of a yard. It's second down. up the middle with Jacobs and this takes him into the red zone he's brought down inside the 20 yard line so when you're evaluating the impact of a team's run game like I think it's important at the end of the game to look back and say okay how many yards did they run for but more importantly when did those yards come did I run for those yards in the fourth quarter which typically means I had to lead that's the sign of a successful run game as a and this is going to be a touchdown. They are going to extend the lead here in the final minute of play. And that is six, six rushing touchdowns in the game, equaling the record set by Alvin Kamara on Christmas Day in 2020. You're watching one of the great individual performances in NFL history. Now Carlson to add the extra point. He's got it. And the Packers tack on one more to their lead. So the kickoff team out there one final time in the final minute as they kick it away. This will be returned from the six. And he'll be brought down just beyond the 25-yard line. First and 10. They'll run the draw with Walker. 
the defense all over this one. They get him behind the line of scrimmage. A loss of a couple. So it's a win here for the visiting Packers. Their perfect season continues here into the month of December as they continue to be the number one team in all of football. So that'll just about do it for Greg Olson and our entire team. I'm Mike Tirico. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. For more, log on to easports.com. With that, we say good night from Seattle.